Today is the big day, the solar eclipse, and one viewer wanted to know if it was safe to take a photo of the eclipse with their phone. WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg gets answers in today's Verify Fact Check. The Carolinas are in the path of totality for the eclipse, but in North Carolina, we'll get around 80% coverage. Because this doesn't happen often, many people are going to be pulling out their phones to snap photos. WCNC Charlotte viewer Tony B wrote in asking us, can you use your cell phone to take a picture of the eclipse without damaging it? Or can you take a piece of film from disposable eclipse glasses to cover your camera lens and be able to take a picture? So let's verify. Our sources are NASA and Jonathan Jacobs with Cardinal Camera. NASA published detailed guidelines for smartphone eclipse photography with the caveat that smartphones were never designed to do sun and moon photography. Jacobs agrees it's best to not use your phone's camera during the eclipse. Possibly you will damage the phone. The thing to remember is you are pointing your camera uh, or, or phone at a star. There's a lot of heat that can be generated even in that moment that you do that. I would recommend that you not do it. Jacob says there are options for people who want to safely use their phone's camera during the event. I would recommend you uh, pick up a solar filter. Um, basically, a camera would need to be, the sensor would, mean, would need to be covered by the filter in order to keep it safe. He says if you can't find a solar filter with such short notice, your Eclipse glasses will work just fine. These can be purchased anywhere from 3 to $9 a pair. You could basically take the solar glass, put it over the lens, and record that way. But for those amateur photographers trying to snap a picture of the eclipse, Jacob says you likely won't get a great photo anyways. It doesn't have a lot of zoom, so you would basically end up with a little dot in the sky. You'd be able to see it, but it wouldn't be very impressive. Instead, Jacob suggests living in the moment. Just photograph yourself, uh, do a selfie with your glasses on, maybe have the uh, picture of uh, turn around so you get everybody around you. Get that in the picture, make a great composition that way. So we can verify that if you plan on taking a photo of the eclipse with your phone, you should use a proper solar filter or eclipse glasses over the lenses. With your Verify Fact Check, I'm Megan Bragg. If you have something you would like verified, just email us at verify at wcnc.com.